everybody, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic back with another exciting news update about Jurassic toys and collecting. Um, of course, it seems like anymore we're always talking about something Camp Cretaceous related, so this video will definitely be Camp Cretaceous related. Um, and we're talking about the McDonald's toys, the Happy Meal toys, which we've covered on the channel before, but there are some newer figures that have uh, sort of revealed themselves uh, more so than we even knew about that was coming. Um, we already talked about the figures that were coming to the U.S. as part of this promotion with Camp Cretaceous having sort of a tie-in with McDonald's, at least in the month of September for here in the U.S., but now we're seeing that other countries are also getting the tie-in promotion, and with that uh, comes more toys. But here in the U.S., we were just kind of limited to the four books that you could get as well as the four figures, and the figures we got were great. I mean, we got Bumpy, uh, Triceratops, Toro, uh, T-Rex, so they kind of picked four for the U.S. release to go along with those books that sort of, um, you know, represent and kind of a, a, a gamut of species from the show but in other countries we're seeing even more figures come out which is pretty cool and also makes me a little bit jealous and a little bit uh disappointed that we got books instead of figures but they're still really cool and of course collectors are probably still going to try to hunt these down even if they are available in different countries so you can kind of see the entire spread here this is 12 different figurines um, and we'll go over each one in depth uh, each new one in depth um, but we know now that there's figures that have come out in Korea there's a couple more that have come out in Japan and pretty much all of the ones you see right now actually came out in uh, Hungary as well um, so that was the only country that we know of thus far that's gotten every single species shown here whereas every other country has sort of gotten a mix like with the US getting four of these I think Japan got like uh, 10 of them. So, you know, it's just kind of an interesting way they distributed these internationally at different McDonald's. But let's go ahead and jump into the figures themselves. And the first one I want to hit isn't actually a dinosaur. It is a flying reptile, and that's the Tranodon. Um, clearly, you can see that this is a Tranodon styled like the Jurassic World with the coloration that we see on the Mattel toys and some of the renders for it um, from the movie. But uh, this, one's, this one's awesome. I love that it's in the walking pose as opposed to the flying pose. Something I wish they would do for Mattel figures, actually. Um, sort of set them up in this pose. But, uh, yeah, it comes with an egg. Like every single figure we already know about, um, the eggs for every single one of these are actually different. Which is kind of a nice touch. They could have just used the same egg over and over again. But they um, kind of casted them all in different plastic. So Tranodon gets its own egg as well. But uh, I don't know what the action here is. I think it just closes its beak. But, yeah, a nice little addition available in Japan and Hungary. Um, next, we have Stiggy Moloch. This is an all-new one. Uh, and again, this one is um, really limited. I think it's only available in Hungary. But Stiggy Moloch, uh, you know, no spoilers here. But, uh, you know, if you've seen Camp Cretaceous, you know, you know or don't know about Stiggy Moloch. Um, but he got a toy for the McDonald's um, tie-in, at least in Hungary. And he's cute. He's a cute little version of it. Again, I love, like, the different colored egg, especially on this one. Um, it's just got some cool hues in it. But uh, Stiggy Moloch joining the joining the uh, the roster with some sort of action probably tied to the tail like a headbutting action which you know is appropriate for Stiggy Moloch but uh a species we didn't get here in the U.S. but at least in Hungary you can get Stiggy Moloch um and next up is another really exciting one and that's Indominus Rex uh Indominus Rex is almost the star of Camp Cretaceous in some ways so it was a little surprising that we didn't get a figure for that here in the U.S. but they definitely got it in the other countries I think this one's available in uh Korea Japan and hungry um and again there could be other countries that pop up with all of these it, you know the the promotion is kind of ongoing but we're definitely not getting this one here in the u.s at least not right now um but yeah look at this one's egg very interesting how it sort of has totally different coloration on the bottom um but uh indominus rex is a popular species uh, you know this figurine is is a little interesting looking i'd love to see it in hand to really kind of pass judgment on it because it looks a little strange some of these look a lot better than this one but uh that's indominus rex we also have uh, Raptor Blue. Again, very surprised that Raptor Blue did not come out here in the U.S. It seems like anytime we see any kind of Jurassic World uh, marketing or promotion, we're always kind of <laughs> treated to blue in some case or some way. Uh, they really shoehorn blue in almost everything, but wasn't part of the Happy Meal toys here in the U.S., but it did come out um, in Korea and I believe in Japan and of course Hungary. So this one came to um, uh, multiple different countries, but I think this one's action is tied in with like a rotating head maybe. Like I think maybe she just looks back and forth. You know, they, they try to make blue sort of more intelligent whenever they make toys and 
not just you know biting and slashing so um, that kind of makes sense considering the character uh, next up we have Parasaur Lophus very rare this one's only available in Hungary right now but so cool I mean we don't we often don't get like herbivore toys in general Parasaur Lophus I feel like is just starting to get love with Camp Cretaceous um, so it's nice that I, it got the Happy Meal toy treatment uh, again just a bummer this wasn't available here because this is definitely one I would love to collect more so than a lot of the other ones we didn't get here in the U.S. I just I just like Parasaur Lophus as a species and this is a cute little rendition of it it's got that coloration that's very you know inspired by the Lost World coloration that they've brought to a lot of the toys so um uh, Fun little collectible, this one. Um, and, you know, I'll definitely be hunting this one down <laughs> no matter how hard it is to get. Um, another one that I really think is, uh, you know, just a really nice addition because it's a herbivore is Brachiosaurus. Again, in Camp Cretaceous Brachiosaurus, you know, if you've seen the trailers with the zip lines, like it's kind of prominently featured, um, at least in earlier episodes. So um, nice that it's getting the Happy Meal toy treatment as well. Um, this one's very stylized, uh, very much looks like a baby. Um, but again, like I, that's the charm of all these for me is they have a, a really nice aesthetic to all of them. Um, and Brachiosaurus is certainly very exaggerated with its like huge head next to its tiny body. But um, I like it. I mean, it's got a simple coloration, big, you know, baby eyes. But uh, um, another Brachiosaur toy. I'll always take a Brachiosaur toy from Jurassic. We just simply don't get enough. Um, one more herbivore we'll go over. Well, I think there might be a maybe one more to, after this. But uh, Stegosaurus. Uh, this one's great. I'd say this is probably one of the most detailed-looking Happy Meal figures that they've come out with, at least from these photos. It just looks like it has a lot of texture going on in its skin. Um, it's complicated, uh, or it's more like a, more of a complex design because of the um, the plates on the back. There's, there's just a lot going on with this one. Um, and this one is available in, um, I think it's available in Japan and Hungary only. So this one skipped Korea and, of course, skipped us um but yeah I, I like this one it's probably out of all of them the one that feels the most like a toy like an actual toy you would buy in the store versus a happy meal toy like, again it's just a little more complicated in terms of the toy design so uh, i like it for that reason um next up we have baryonyx this one's kind of funny looking you know i've heard from a couple collectors who uh got this one in korea that it looks better in hand but <laughs> in the photos it looks really interesting it almost looks like it has a comb over or something <laughs> behind there on the eye like it has a little hairstyle or something i don't know it, something about it just looks very like uh it has, it has a lot of character i guess we'll say it definitely looks like it's very animated but um <laughs> i got the classic baryonyx coloration as well it's instantly recognizable. That's probably the only reason I realized what this one was is because I was like, oh, that's the Baryonyx coloration. So um, Baryonyx joining the roster as well as the, for another carnivore with the Happy Meal toys. Um, and that's basically, I think, all eight ones that have been added to the entire roster of 12. Again, joining the ones we already knew all about T-Rex, Bumpy, Carno, and uh, Triceratops. But all together, what a cool collection. I mean, look at all these guys. I'm 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 pretty sad and pretty disappointed that they didn't roll this many figures out everywhere, including the U.S. and everywhere else. I mean, that's some of these Happy Meal toys where they release all these figures. Um, it just makes it more exciting and kind of more of an event to collect everything um, all at once. Sh certainly makes it more difficult to collect everything, but uh, it's kind of just exciting. And I and just having four figures and four books here in the U.S. was kind of a letdown in hindsight. Um, but who knows? We'll see what happens. What the future holds for. Uh, Kink Cretaceous at McDonald's. There's future seasons of this show coming, um, most likely. So maybe there'll be another McDonald's promotion. Maybe they'll trot out some of these figures that didn't get released here in the U.S. Um, again, it's hard to say. But, um, you know, for now, I think what we have here certainly got a lot of people interested in the show, aware of the show, and now it's hitting worldwide. So sure, there's more figures worldwide, but that's just getting more people excited. Um, and yeah, I mean, this has just been a really fun promotion to sort of track down and collect. So um, we'll definitely let you know if we hear any more updates, but I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic, and as always, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.